Right, we are all ready to go. Ropes in, gear sorted, load of fishing, camping gear in the backpack. We're going to abseil down and there's actually this ginormous cave down there that I discovered probably two months ago, uh, discovered by chance. But anyway, let's get down there and check it out. It looks incredible from what I've seen from the drone. I've never set foot in it, but uh, let's get in there and uh, have a look and go for a fish, see what we can catch. Ropes. Ropes are <laughs> Oh wow. <sighs> There's a little sneak peek into this cave. I just need to get over there. Maybe we have to go down a bit more and swing over. I don't want to take a swing. Well, I need to climb up into that. We're almost into it. I hate this bit where the rope's not quite where I want it. All right, there we go. I thought that might happen. Whoa, this cave, let's climb in. Climb in through this little hole. Oh, careful of the rods. Oh man, this is mega. How's the echo? Would you have a look at that? I don't know how much, like the GoPro is super wide angle, but this thing, it's probably hard to pick up. Anyway, I'm gonna do something so my rope can't swing away and uh, we'll get ready and go fishing. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to go. How's the acoustics in here? I've had a good look around. It's hard to believe that uh, places like this exist. Like, Anyway, we are gonna throw the light outfit first. It's an Ocean's Legacy Dreamcast PE3, 30 pound TAS line on the reel. And um, we're gonna chuck this plastic on a one ounce jig out here, uh, two Ocean's Tackle, fishing store in Bustleton, I think it is. We're climbing up to send me out a bunch of jig heads and plastics and some books and stuff, so thanks to them for that. Yeah, I'm gonna move my, my setup. Quite a big set came through before and a bit of wash came through. It, was, it wasn't like rolling over the rocks, but the spray hit and came up and came down here. It's obvious, it's a lot rougher than they forecast. It's meant to be like a 1.2 meter swell, but those sets got a fair bit of punch to them, eh? All right, let's go get some bait. I'm going to see if we can catch a groper or something. Okay, so we have a bait rig. Just got a big hook there and half a crab. I'm just gonna go in through a leg socket. Come back out through a leg or that's a claw socket there. Punch it through a leg or two as well. The legs are what hold it all together. You don't use the legs. It just tends to get picked off. Um, you really don't know what you're gonna get when you're fishing for groper. You could get a little five kilo fish and you could get an absolute beast that you either land or just smokes you you just don't know they get up to like 40 kilos so they're the ones that you hook and you don't stand a chance generally that's a fish there we go could be a nice size for dinner, it's not huge. Unless it grows. How well hooked do I have him? Hopefully well enough. 
All right, well, there we go. We have got dinner sorted. That is a nice sized Western blue grouper. They get a hell of a lot bigger. But uh, this guy is probably like five, six kilos, really. And they get well over 30. Um, doing fish curry tonight. I can relax a bit now. Don't need to stress about what I'm having for dinner. I'm sorted. So good. I'm gonna fill up the fish before I climb out and get firewood and then we can chuck it into the cooler bag. Another quality fillet. And I reckon we might take the wings off. And there we have a nice set of fish wings. Heaps of meat on that. That'll probably be dinner. I'm gonna do a fish curry tonight, so we might try to get it out of these. All right, I'm all ready. I'm gonna climb out, go get some firewood. This stuff here is my fire lighter. I'm going to do the fire here. There's already a bit of sand right here. And then there's kind of, there's bits of sand around. I don't think it's really sand. I think it's um, granite dust, but essentially sand. I'm going to put a bit here just for the base and then we'll stack a few rocks around. So we'll get that done. starter oh, nearly got away on me uh, I don't know if they could have potentially rolled all the way but let's get it up And last of all, yeah. uh, let's check it out. How's the view? I'm going to sleep well in here tonight. Such an amazing spot. We're just going to go up to my little window. Wow. How cool is this? Conditions look pretty good right now, but then whenever a set comes through, it just washes up on that, just sprays over there too much. And I just can't be stuffed dealing with it. I think I'm just gonna to continue to chill out for the afternoon. And um, it's also quite windy when you go down there. But tomorrow morning, the wind is meant to drop right off. This spot just blows me away. How's that view out there? view in here okay sunset is actually only an hour away so I'm gonna get this fire going so we have better coals and hopefully we can cook dinner before it's dark Quite a treat actually, as the sun sets, it is shining into the cave. It's got not far to the horizon and then it will start getting dark and cold. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. The plan is 
butter chicken, butter groper, classic butter groper instead. I don't know if I'm going to do the wings actually, because uh, I don't think I'm going to get them to fit. I might just take them home and I'll do them in a much bigger container. It'll be easier. Put some oil in there. And then we got some spices. That'll do. I'm gonna add my sauce. And I'm also gonna add some veggies. Just throw it out half a zucchini. Last one is, I think it's like curry and um, that looks like coconut cream to me. Very thick and chunky. Smells good, that's for sure. Definitely needs to cook a bit longer, we need to get that fish cooked through. So we'll just leave that sitting. I don't have a lid and hopefully it will just simmer and slowly cook through. So the last thing I'm going to chuck in is some rice. Because um, I'm camping in the middle of nowhere, I'm not going to bring an extra saucepan and boil it. I couldn't be bothered. So we got some of this stuff. I'm just going to put in Okay, dinner is ready. That's my dinner. This is like one of my favourite spots up here. This is like the window sort of thing that I came in through. It's not quite a window. It nearly is a window. God, this day is good. That is really good. Croper is cooked nicely. Rice is good. Right. From up here, I can just sit and stare at the ocean just here. I really want to fish this ledge lower down there but every time a set comes through it just gets smashed like I don't think I'd get washed away or washed in but I'd get drenched and I'm not keen on that also I did say I found this place by chance um, so what happened was probably six weeks ago I came out and I wanted to fish that other ledge back there that sort of more the point there so I was sitting on top and trying to figure out where I should abseil to get onto it because it's pretty funky rock like holes and caves and all sorts like small ones. So I sent the drone out to try to figure out how to get onto that and I was sitting up there and I sent it out and I'm just like, well, I'm sitting above a ginormous cave. Heck yes, I'm gonna go abseil in and uh, camp there sometime. I would have done it there and then. Conditions were ideal at that time, but I knew there was a big storm rolling in that night and it was getting on in the Arvo. And then the following day, the swell was cranking all day and I um, couldn't see a weather window coming up that would work for it, so I just headed home. And uh, here we are today, finally making it happen. I think that ledge back there probably would be better for fishing. The ideal scenario would be camp in the cave, fish that other ledge. This one's just the way the swell comes in, it sort of wraps around, or maybe it's the swell direction today, wraps around and just smashes in down there and just sprays up and then the wind blows sea mist all over you. Hopefully tomorrow morning conditions are a bit better and we can get to this lower ledge down there that I really want to fish from. If not, we'll have a chuck from the same spot again for a little while tomorrow morning. Alright, good morning. A few mozzies patiently waiting outside my tent. Not too many, which is good. I'm gonna get up anyway. We're gonna go chuck a line in. We'll see how we go. See how it fishes. I'm just gonna throw the lie outfit at first. We'll head down. I don't really want to catch another groper here because I can't release them here. But uh, we'll see if we can get some brakes here, caught a Harleys or
I'm going to go down there soon, hopefully. Here comes a big set. We'll see how this one goes. We didn't spray it, but it didn't look very uh, enticing either. Mm. You just need a wave a bit bigger than that to come through and you're gonna get drenched or something, eh? I don't know if I want to fish down there. But we might change from plastic for a cast or two. Alright, let's go throw that in. That's my setup. Ooh, that was a tap. I had a tap, hopefully not a leather jacket tap. They're um, this fish with a leathery skin and sharp teeth. And they just come and, yep, fish on. Good, we got a fish, finally, on the plastic. They come and just destroy your lures. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, breaks there, yes, big one. I thought it was a Western Rock Blackfish for a second then. Sick! There we go, that is a nice size Brakesy Cod. Finally got a good fish on the lure. Um, definitely one of my favourite fish and we'll knock his fillets off later and chuck him in the esky. <sighs> yep. Gee, I'm doing well this morning. A lot better than I actually expected after yesterday. Bigger break, Steve. Similar to the first one, maybe. Yep. Good size break, C card coming up. There we go. Another nice break, C card. Not huge, but decent size go in the cooler bag if I get one more I'm bagged out and then I'll probably leave anyway because uh, I got somewhere else I really want to check out after this spot but yeah happy days I'm gonna have to do a cast or two on the other side actually that just ledge looks good I think I want to go try it it's much nicer to stand here that's for sure They get slippery down there though. I might just stay up here for now unless I hook something. I'm snagged. I think it, I'm done. I am officially done. Anyway, I had a good couple of casts here, caught nothing. All right, I'm done for the morning. I'm going to pack everything up, pack my tent, fill up the two fish, chuck them in the cooler bag, and uh, we'll haul ourselves out of here. I'll, just, I'll see you when we're ready to go. Okay, I'm all ready to go. We've got the backpack fully loaded connected to the rope there. I'm gonna to attach to the rope just above and then I'll swing out and the bag's gonna swing out and go that way a bit, unfortunately, because the direction of the rope and that is like that. I don't wanna leave the bag sitting in the cave in case when I go to haul it up, it gets jammed. I prefer it to just be dangling out there. I'll jug out and I'll drag it up. I've also got the rods just here. They're just clipped into my harness. That way they don't get damaged getting dragged up the side of the cliff and this new rod sleeve is very handy should help uh, protect them even if they do knock the rocks a little bit as I drag myself out. I'm going to use to haul myself out because it's only a short distance up to the top I'm not too worried about um, having a foot piece for it but I've just got it doubled up onto my harness. All right let's go.
I'm not really looking forward to this part, I must say. <clears throat> well, there we go. That's going to sit there. And it's gone. And the rope on the back is so I can um, set up a pulley system to pull my bag up because I can't do that on a loaded rope. <laughs> it would be very difficult. How's this cave? That's sick, eh? Hey? You can just sit up there and look at the view. Might try to set my pulley system up here. Okay, I think we are ready to go. I've got this on a separate rope, which goes to the same existing anchor. Anchor, not anchor. Because I couldn't find anything good in this crack, so I just went up there. Uh, first pull is probably going to be awkward because I'm going to be trying to pull. Oh, yeah, I need to pull it that way. So I might pull the first bit upwards and then I can pull it downwards. I've got this on the wrong way. I'll switch it in a sec. Yeah, well, that was easy enough. I just need that there. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a little bit of rope there now. Probably start working with that. <laughs> That came through way easier than I expected. Mess of ropes. Mission complete. I've got my bag. From here, I can literally walk to where I set my anchor and then walk the rest of the way out to the car. Man, I'm out of breath. Um, just gonna sit back in the shade here for a moment and recover, probably have a drink of water. Thanks heaps for watching everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a like. If you wanna see more of this sort of stuff um, and you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe, doesn't cost you anything. Other than that, have a good one. I'm gonna pack up, hike out of here. Catch you on the next one. See ya.